What is going on guys? This is Jordan here with Infinite Mastery. Today I am excited to bring you a new video on creating a vision and setting attainable goals for 2017 in three simple steps. So please stay tuned and enjoy. If you're struggling with coming up with an effective vision for yourself, and if you're struggling with achieving your goals, then this video is for you. We're gonna go, go over how to create an effective vision. We're gonna talk about how to set attainable goals that actually work towards accomplishing your vision and talk about some other things to help you out through the year of 2017. So I'm excited, let's get right into it guys. One of the greatest times of the year is January, the beginning of a new journey that is filled with desire to set goals and plan a successful and meaningful year. We all get excited and motivated about making 2017 different from the previous year. Why did this happen to so many people, you ask? Well, there can be a few reasons. Uh, the first reason uh, may be that we set goals for the new year. Life starts to set in within the first few weeks of the new year, and we look back and see that our life really isn't much different just because we set goals, and so we give up on them and we wait for the next year to come around so we can set new goals and do the same thing all over again. Or we may start the year out really well. In the first few weeks, there may be a day that we mess up. And because we messed up one day, we give up, we say that we've failed and there's no point trying anymore. If you've ever felt like this or this has ever happened to you, then this video is going to be perfect for you. One of the most important things in accomplishing the things that you want out of your life is making sure that you have some sort of vision of where you want to be, a future point that you see yourself in. So a lot of famous entrepreneurs and athletes actually practice this. They visualize themselves winning the race or creating the business that is successfully making them thousands of dollars a month. This is the type of mindset that you want to have going into your new year. Now, just because you set a vision for yourself and you visualize and think about it a lot doesn't actually guarantee that you'll ever get to your vision. So with that being said, the first step is creating a vision for yourself. That's the number one most important thing that you want to focus on. Now obviously when it comes to a vision you want to put a time frame on it. This could be anywhere from one to ten years, whatever suits you best. You could have multiple visions. I've taken some time to come up with eight simple questions that can help you create a vision. Um, I'll leave the link to my blog down below where you can see those questions, but those will definitely help you in creating a vision for yourself, no matter who you are. The key to a vision and the reason why people talk about it so much is creating a vision helps to embed in your mind and your heart why you want to reach certain goals and accomplishments in your life. Once you've created your vision, we want to focus on setting goals to accomplish and work towards that vision. Now that you have something set in place of your future and where you see yourself in 10, 5 or 3 years, you can create goals that are specific to help you drive you towards that. So setting goals that are measurable, that are attainable, that are relevant, that are time bound and specific can keep you on track to achieving your vision. This is known as the SMART acronym. Now that you've set two to five goals that work towards your vision, the next and final step is making sure that you set daily and weekly tasks and objectives. This is important because this will help eventually work towards your vision and these are things that you can do on a daily and weekly basis. Now one of the other important things about visualization is that you want to take time or set time aside during the day to think about your goals um, and your vision and your future. When you take the time to do this, it helps ingrain in your mind the things that you want. It helps to create an emotion inside of you and bring that motivation that you've been looking for. Now along with that, neurologist Jeffrey Schwartz said some of the best things to do along with thinking and visualizing is writing down your future. When you, the, the process of writing things down actually help you to uh, more grasp and ingrain into your mind the future that you desire. So I would highly recommend doing that as well. Now the last thing I wanted to mention is recognition. 
you want to recognize the things that you've achieved along the way. If you don't take the time to reward yourself for what you've done, then ultimately you're going to become discouraged or depressed because you don't feel like you're doing anything. So take the time to uh, reward yourself for weekly tasks, daily tasks, and goals that you've hit to help you uh, motivate yourself and keep going. Well, that is it guys. Those are the three simple steps to help you accomplish your vision and set goals for 2017. Uh, first step, create your vision. Second step, set goals towards your vision. And the third step is plan daily and weekly tasks, visualize your vision uh, on a regular basis, and recognize the things that you achieve. I promise you guys, if you do this, that you can see yourself at the end of 2017 and look back and see all of the accomplishments and goals you've achieved for this year. Thanks for watching guys. Until next time, this is Jordan with Infinite Mastery. You have a great day and I'll see you later.